Hey everyone, it's Leviathan here again. This here is my intro video to explain to you guys what I normally talk about for my videos that I make from this point on to help you guys out. My Leviathan universe is very prodigious. I have 15,000 plus characters and creatures that are accounted for as compared to the infinite number in this infinite onion of a multiverse. The five main heroes are notably the five most focused characters in my Leviathan universe. There's Madame Shear, founder and owner of Blader Tech Industries. There's Dentrini, who's the biological granddaughter of Satana, founder and ruler of Tartarus. And she herself is also um, the director of the Paranormal Defense. Pym is a Lunarian, which is an alien species that's currently endangered after their home star exploded. Um, Colossa is the, uh, the granddaughter of Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods and creator of the Cosmos. Colossa herself has infinite growing capacity, can shoot nuclear beams from her hands, can break the fourth wall and other powers. And Kyjericus is Queen of the Mutants who's basically a woman who was mutated into a giant reptilian kaiju woman, who now protects people from kaiju-based threats. I have all of this elaborate information I could, could tell you and such, because they are all really impressive, and I really recommend that you gotta check these stuff out, because it, it will blow you away, and you know who Stanley is? Stan Lee, the guy who created Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Avengers, and all that stuff. I am planning to be as blessed as he was. And I really hope that this is the right reality. And if you guys want, I really hope that I could be able to succeed with my creations. Yeah, so basically it's really impressive stuff, and I made all of them, and I have to make it up to them. You know, because I made them exist, and I have to make it worth it for them. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys have a decent understanding. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm like going high function autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. Today I'm going to introduce three different characters, and I hope you guys enjoy. Mother Mayhem. Real name, Mabel Hoffman. Height, 5 feet 10 inches to 204 stories. Weight, 194 pounds to unreveal. Status villain and enemy of Annabelle, who is a character who could expand to the height of the Empire State Building whenever she senses any nearby dangers and such. Base, Chicago, Mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, stubborn and destructive. She's bent on killing Annabelle. Lethality, highly deadly to most opponents and their dwellings. Weaknesses, she loses whenever she calms down. Powers, whenever she gets angry, she gains great size and strength, along with developing an extreme temper. She's difficult to kill. Eyes, brownish hazel, hair, reddish auburn. Origin. Mabel Hoffman was an average mid-30s woman until the day her husband and daughter were killed by a common gunman. After getting a nervous breakdown, Wrath appeared to her saying that she must never trust anyone. After that, she infused Mabel with intense powers that ignite their rage. And just so you know, Ram is the evil twin sister of Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods, just so you know. Eventually, Mabel expanded to towering size and since earned the name of Mother Mayhem. But after destroying Chicago, she was confronted by Annabelle, who succeeded at stopping her. Since then, Mother Mayhem will do anything to kill Annabelle, along with making all innocents perish to her unrelenting wrath. Costume. She dresses in casual wear. Team Solitary or with other villains. Original Inspiration. Rage. Here's the next character. 
just so you know. Dr. Bray. Real name, Dr. Nina Bryans. Height, 9 feet, weight 3 tons, including platform. Status, hero, an enemy of Bloodlord, who is the evil counterpart of the Master, who is the founder and leader of the Blue Man Clan. Bloodlord is native to the Altered Dimension, just so you know. Base, Altered Dimension, Mobile. Intelligence, 5 brains, and 5 pluses. Behavior, Intellectual and Witty. She'll do anything to protect the innocents alongside most other heroes. Lethality. Extremely lethal to most opponents. Weaknesses. If she concentrates too much, she'd develop a bad seizure. Powers. She has most of the same powers as Neuron, who is the basically the evil trademark enemy of the Master, who also has five brains and five pluses in intelligence. Instead of a spider-like platform, Dr. Brain's platform has six metallic appendages with four digits, allowing her to grab her opponents and climb buildings. Eyes deep green, hair deep auburn and short. Origin In the altered dimension, Dr. Nina Bryans was simply the native neuron, along with being the stepsister of the genocidal Bloodlord. After learning about her eternal urge to spread chaos, Nina infused herself with similar powers as Neuron, along with getting the same decapitation as her by Bloodlord. Eventually, Dr. Brain traveled to the default dimension and was confronted by Neuron. When she struggled to avoid a seizure while fighting Neuron, she was finally rescued when Madame Dome, another character with five brains and five pluses, arrived to help Dr. Brain defeat her opponent. Since then, Dr. Brain and Madame Doan were fast friends, always willing to stop villains like Bloodlord and Neuron. Costume. She simply wears nothing, respectively. She doesn't need to wear clothes because she's mainly a head by this point. Like, literally. Team Solitary, with Madame Doan and other heroes. Soil Inspiration, Neuron, and Marvel's Dr. Octopus. Here's the last character, just so you know. Queen Nina. Real name, none. Length, 100 miles. Weight, unrevealed. Status, hero, and queen of the Mermians. Base, the planet Fable, mobile. And just so you know, Fable is a fairy tale planet, basically. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, lovely and protective. She'll do anything in her power to protect her people from danger. Lethality, only if you threaten her people. Weaknesses, lack of moisture. Powers, she has great size and strength, can swim at great speeds, wields a massive single-edged sword, and can heal herself via water. She can control water, can summon swarms of mermians, and has both gills and lungs to breathe above and below water. She can also teleport herself to any large body of water in the cosmos. Eyes, vivid turquoise. Hair, bright blonde and wavy. Origin. On the planet Fable, Queen Nina is basically the hundred mile long ruler of all the Mermians on that planet. Though she's purely innocent, if anyone threatens her or her people, then she'd have no choice but to punish them. One time, Nina decided to travel to the default Earth and successfully saved New York from a massive sea monster creature that I've introduced recently known as Whirlpool. Since then, Queen Nina would also protect other planets as well. Costume. She wears a gold waterproof top and a matching choker. Team Solitary or with other heroes, also inspiration, aliens and merfolk. Well, those are the three characters and hope you guys are impressed and such. Yeah, um, Next week on Wednesday will be my 15th anniversary with Susan. But sadly, due to a bit of a of a hassle with currency right now, I'm not going to Hogel Zoo, but instead I'm going to do a backyard camping outing with one of my staff members, you know? He gave us permission to have like a campfire in his backyard. So that we're going to do that instead of Hogel, which is a discount, but still something. Hope oh, Susan wouldn't mind. 
And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. It's your choice. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the month and so forth. And until next time, in transmission.